just going to go over it with the yellow again a little bit because it covered up some of those lights. a little white for the stem and then I'll cover it with green. That's it. You could just mix a little yellow with your blue to make green. buildings that I painted black not everywhere but I might just give a little bit of a white highlight to just so you can sort of see them a little bit If you want, you can come in with some yellow on these pumpkins and just do little highlights on the edges. We're going to be put, you can put faces on them if you want. We'll do that with black, maybe, or yellow. And if you want, you could do the same thing with your tan, maybe mix with a little bit of black to make it a little darker. You could show some of those ridges if you wanted to. You can paint some some fun faces on the pumpkins if you want. Just do some goofy faces.
here we have the cat and the buildings and some crazy pumpkins. And I'm going to go get the light and show you what that looks like. Okay, so this looks like a cork, and it's got a string of lights on it. And we're going to just try to put these down in here. And then I'm going to pull the blinds and see if we can't make it a little darker. See what it looks like. got this off Amazon but I've seen them at Michaels and some of the other craft stores it's really cool because you used to have to drill a hole in these bottles to get a light in there and now you don't have to do that so I'm gonna turn the light on can you see the lights in there I'm gonna turn some of these lights out and shut the blinds so you can see it a little better or I know I'm gonna take it into the bathroom hold on no I don't have my camera there. So then you have the little buildings lighting up and then your moon. I think it's kind of fun. So I hope you like this project. If you want to do it on canvas, make a comment below and we can, um, I'll have a tracer for you for that. And talk to you later. Bye.